hello everyone welcome back to evie's queen i hope you guys are doing great don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are new here you guys can support us for free by subscribing and check out all the other videos we've made they're authentic videos from the biggest site that publishes some good ev news Chinese automotive giant Dongfeng Motor is building its own next-generation power semiconductors, becoming the latest local automaker to undertake such an effort. Dongfeng launched a silicon carbide SIC power module manufacturing project in January 2021 and the modules will be mass-produced in 2023 and be loaded in the company's new energy passenger cars it announced on Monday. SIC modules are an upgrade to IGBT ins insulated gate bipolar transistor chip modules, a third generation power semiconductor with higher efficiency, high temperature resistance, and high voltage characteristics. A Dongfeng article reads The modules will help upgrade the electrical architecture of new energy vehicles from 400 volt to 800 volt allowing them to charge 0 to 80 percent in just 10 minutes dongfeng said the sic modules can also provide the range of nevs and reduce vehicle costs the company said this is dongfeng's latest effort to produce its own power semiconductor modules in july 2021 the company announced that its production line with an annual capacity of 300 000 igbd models Modules went into operation at its NEV Industrial Park in Wuhan. The production line is the first phase of Dongfeng's project and its second phase with a total investment of 280 million yuan, which is $40.32 million is also moving forward the company said on monday the new project will optimize the existing production line to increase production of igbd power modules and will also see the establishment of two brand new production lines to produce igbd modules and sic modules respectively it said by 2025 the project could produce about 1.2 million power modules per year dongfeng said in addition to igbd modules the sic modules dongfeng is also getting into mcu chips the company will work with china information and communication technology group establish a joint lab for automotive chip dongfeng has also worked with local chip foundry smic to complete the design of the company's first mcu chip the company said mainstream car makers still use igbd but tesla byd neo and other car makers have started using sic chips neo announced on june 2020 in 2020 in 2021 that the first sic electric drive system c prototype for the et7 rolled off the production line the ceo of the company's motor division said at the time that sic is more resistant to high temperatures and and has significantly lower overall losses compared to igbd modules helping to improve range on August 24 this year, Lee Auto's power se semiconductor R&D and production base of officially started construction in Shuzhou, Jiangsu province, focusing mainly on the development and the production of SIC modules. On February 16, SIC chip startup InventChip Technology announced that it had closed a strategic financing round with, ex with exclusive participation from Xpeng. That's it for today. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day.